This story is told from the man's perspective. It all started a few days ago at 10.21 p.m. I was relaxing, waiting for my girlfriend to get home when suddenly the doorbell rang. The loud dinging noise startled me. I got up, opened the door, fully expecting a hug and a kiss from her, but no one, not a single living soul out on the porch. All I could see, though, was only several feet in front of me. Everywhere else was black. I, I'm a pretty paranoid person, but at this time of night, I wasn't feeling it. So I yelled, Whoever doorbell ditched me, please don't do it again. I went back to my room and waited for the love of my life to come back. But all I heard was that dreaded doorbell three more times. The third time, I waited by the door and the millisecond the doorbell rang, I looked at the peephole, but it was black. Until suddenly it was uncovered and all I saw was empty porch. The fourth time the bell rang, I instead opened the door this time immediately, but there was nothing. I decided to lock the door and go to sleep to try and make whoever was doing this to get bored and give up. I couldn't sleep though. The suffocating silence made me so anxious to hear the doorbell again. I couldn't think straight. At this point, the paranoia was in full effect, but nothing else happened. No doorbell rings. Eventually, though, the exhaustion took me into the safety of slumber. I must have woken up not too long after because my girlfriend was still nowhere to be seen. But that's not what woke me. At this point, I noticed it. The doorbell was ringing so many times a second I couldn't even click that fast on a mouse. I ran to the door. The doorbell was still going crazy, so I rammed as hard as I humanly could and broke the door, landing on the porch. Luckily, my girlfriend moved out of the way and yelled, What the hell are you doing? I told her about the doorbell ringing inhumanely fast, but absolutely no knowledge about the doorbell. Like it didn't even happen. Now, I honestly think I might have been, I, I might have lost my mind. As I'm typing this, my girlfriend is sleeping at her grandparents' house because she said she was afraid of me. From what I'd done about the door breaking it. But I wait. I wait for that single ding to happen, and when it does, I'll be ready. I wait. So intently. My mind almost makes the sound in my head for a moment. This is the worst kind of fear. Knowing your worst fear is going to happen. Just waiting for it at any moment. And not being able to do anything about it. But as I sit so scared about that single noise, it finally happened. The single metallic ring came out from the living room. All that was going through my mind at that point was getting the hell out of that house. I had already set a plan to jump out the bedroom window and run to the neighbor's house. As I started to open the window, the doorbell started to ring now, at least a few times a second. I thought very quickly there was no way they was getting through the next door we, we bought, but that was the last thing that was going through my mind at that moment. I jumped out of the window and looked over at the porch and saw nothing. I continued to run and eventually the door, with no one around, suddenly collapsed inward toward the house into the living room. The fuck, I thought. At this point, I was ringing the neighbor's doorbell so fast it didn't even sound normal anymore. I eventually gave up and decided to sit on their doorstep for the next few minutes and calm my nerves. 
and to go back into that house. I could still see it from here, dead and empty. Not a single person is near that house. And yet, it still seems like a million pounds on my shoulders every time I look near that place. Eventually, I'm going to have to come back. As I thought about that, my heart sunk, knowing there could be anyone or anything inside that place. As I thought about running in the house and grabbing my keys to drive to my parents' house, each thought causing more and more fear to erupt in my delusional state of fear and panic about the events that had transpired over the last couple of minutes. I very carefully walked closer and closer to the house, each step adding a million more pounds of fear and panic onto me. As I got about 15 feet away, I heard that doorbell going off almost as fast as that one night. No one was pressing it, though. Not a single person on the porch is even close to ringing the bell. Like, it's just ringing itself. I did eventually step inside, doorbell still going crazy. I very quickly walked into the bedroom to grab my keys, heart pounding a million, million miles an hour. I found them and ran toward the door. As I got one step from the outside, I looked back into that house and into the bathroom. I saw a giant white creature feasting on my girlfriend. Each time it would take a bite, it would make the exact noise a doorbell would make. I got the hell out of there and drove to my parents' house. I was so shocked and scared I couldn't even tell them the truth. I just ended up lying and saying I got into a fight with her. They wanted to call her, but I stopped them. Now I'm in the guest bedroom wondering what the fuck happened the past few days. I really hope the people reading this would help me give me an explanation. I think I'm starting to calm down until I heard a single metallic doorbell noise from the inside of my parents' room.